Hey guys, so for unit nine, you will have to do a multimedia presentation. So um, lesson five has the rubric and I'm gonna kinda go over that because I know most of you don't like to read the rubrics. Um, so you need to have content that's interesting. Um, you need to be able to, it's about speaking and speed and things. So enunciate your words, make sure that I can understand them. Uh, you're not going too fast or too slow and your volume is good. You're not you're not talking really, really quietly so that I can't hear because you're nervous or you're not talking really loud. Um, the next one is confidence. Uh, you have eye contact and your posture. Um, the next one says at least uses at least four multimedia elements. So that could be graphics, images, visual effects, music, video, um, and then the last thing is that you have uh, grammar correct. So what I was thinking just to make this a little bit easier is you could probably use your um, persuasive essay and turn it into a presentation. So um, here are some things that you can use to present it. There's Prezi, which I really like, and it said that these were free. Um, I have a Prezi account. I didn't pay for it. Uh, Powtoons, it's really cool. Um, Google Slides, of course. Uh, Zoom, you can even do some cool stuff too. Uh, you can change your background, and um, I'm sure there's ways to add other effects that I don't know about. Um, and if you know of any other things, that's fine. What I want you to make sure you're doing is it's mostly you talking. So if you do do a Google Slides or a Prezi or something else, I want videos of you in there presenting parts of it. Now, if you want to put in a cool sound effect when you change to another slide, that's a media. Um, if you want to put in a short video of something else, don't make it super long, something short. That's another use of uh, multimedia. Um, music at the beginning or at the end when you put your um, sources, visual effects, anything like that that you want to add in there. But make sure that most of it is you talking. So if you want to do a short video of you talking and doing your introduction, and then you t turn the slide and have a picture or something, and then your body paragraph, and then another picture or something, a video or... Um, don't put it all on one video because then you're going to have one slide and that's pointless. But uh, And to make videos, you can use Zoom, which is free. Um, and if you have a Chromebook, you should have Screencastify. That's how I make most of my videos. Or even a YouTube page if you have one of those. Um, of course, your phones can make videos too if you have a phone. Or if you can borrow or have somebody else record you with their phone. And that's it. But if you want to look back at your rubric for this, it's on lesson five.